Welcome to today's discussion. Today we are going to look at the preparation of a cleansing agent, commonly known as detergents. We are told the scheme below was used to prepare a cleansing agent. Study it and answer the questions that follow. Before we proceed, detergents are substances that improve the cleaning properties of water. That improve the cleaning properties of water. That means water alone cannot remove that. We have two types of cleansing agents. Number one, we have a soapy detergent. These are commonly known as bar soaps. Then number two, we have soapless detergents. These ones are manufactured either in powder or in liquid forms. We look at the flowchart. We have fat, which is an ester, being boiled in sodium hydroxide to produce a solution of the cleansing agent and an alcohol. So we have fat being boiled in sodium hydroxide for us to get soap plus an alcohol, which is usually glycerol. If we look at the questions, Roman 1, what name is given to this type of cleansing agent prepared by the method above? This cleansing agent that is produced or prepared by hydrolyzing fat using sodium hydroxide is known as a soapy detergent. Roman 2, name one chemical substance added in step 2. Step 2 is where we are separating a solution of the cleansing agent and the glycerol. And the chemical substance that is usually added to separate the two is concentrated sodium chloride, also known as brine. Roman 3, what is the purpose of adding the chemical named in Roman 2 above? The chemical named in Roman 2 above is brine or concentrated sodium chloride. And the reason why we use it in step 2 is to separate soap from glycerol. And therefore we can say it is too precipitate. Precipitate out soap. Or simply say to separate soap and glycerol. Roman 4. Roman 4. Name any other suitable substance that can be used in step 1. In step 1, we are using sodium hydroxide and instead of sodium hydroxide, one can use potassium hydroxide. Roman 5, explain how an aqueous solution of the cleansing agent removes oil during washing. This is the part that examines on the mode of action of soap. And if I can uh, draw the structure of soap, which is C17, H35, then we can also represent soap this way. This is the tail and this is the head. The tail is the hydrocarbon part. We can also replace the tail with R. And then of course the head carries the kuna. 
that is not our interest our interest is the mode of action of the cleansing agent how does this cleansing agent remove that we can say when soap is added is added to an oily or greasy part of the cloth the hydrocarbon part the hydrocarbon part which is the tail and you know the tail is hydrophobic or water hating dissolves in oil keeping the head keeping the head away from oil keeping the head away from oil big molecules big molecules of oil break during rubbing into small oil droplets into small oil droplets which are carried in a stream of water which are washed away washed away which are washed away by water or a stream of water thank you for watching and welcome to the channel and in case you are watching this channel for the first time kindly take that one second and click the subscribe button